that we're doing a uh, Toy Story um, three tier cake today. Move our cake along again. Just double check that it's all the way around. And then I'm just gonna rub in. flour on my hands and then we're just going to start working down and smoothing out creases don't be frightened to lift your icing off the board We'll, we'll be using a smoothie as well, and you can use a ball of ice cream. Using this part of our hand. Just going to trim up our excess for the moment because we don't need that like so you can roll it into a bowl and then with my smoother I'm just gonna do that Fondant makes it smooth as much as a smoother makes it smooth. And sometimes with the fondant you can get just get a little bit more of a cleaner edge. Where sometimes the fondant, the scraper will stick. So I'm just using my hands as well. I'm going to get a little bit of my corn flour because my icing is getting a bit sticky. Just to rub over the edge. You can use icing sugar, but I prefer corn flour. I find it doesn't dry out as much. So, what we're going to do now is we're just going to. I'm just going to. Just going to Trim and the bit that I need. Anyway, that's our cake ice ready for our buzz lightly a bit to go on it. I'm going to ice up the six and the four inches now, put them in the fridge. I'm going to then, once they're, while they're in the fridge, I'm going to cover our board. Um, put the dowels in, this one, um, and make this into our buzz light year and then we can concentrate on our woody afterwards. Start icing the uh, bolt. So I just put a little bit of corn flour down my blue icing. And I'm just gonna 
start the same process. Roll, turn, roll. Oh. Turn. Keep doing this and until uh, it's at the right size that you want. I need it for a 10 inch, but I am going to cut the middle out to get it around the 8 inch cake. Take your 8 inch bottom from your push pan, place it onto your fondant. Oh, also, it, it, it kind of gives you a, a better circle, really. I'm not really, you can't cut straight today. Take the fondant out, put it to one side. Cake, rolling pin. You want to roll the fondant up. Don't worry, if it stretches, it's fine. And then we'll put it over the top. And then we're just going to manipulate it back in. You can always wet the balls once you're comfortable with how your icing looks. If you wet the balls now, your icing will stick. So I'm just going to cut a little bit out because this is a little bit too long. And don't worry, we can work the cut in. And if I just rub, as you can see, and turn it around. You can see that it goes. So that. for our board and all I've done is got some baking paper or parchment paper I went onto Google and got a cloud template and you just cut it out onto the parchment paper and then all I'm going to do is simply place it onto our white fondant ball uh, onto our white fondant and I'm just going to use my craft knife cut our tie it up a little bit and then what I've done is I've made a template the same method I went on to Google found the Buzz Lightyear uh, green bit he wears on the top, uh, transferred it, just traced it off onto some parch parchment paper and I'm literally going to do the same thing. So I'm going to roll out my green icing. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put my rolling pins on the side, get my half knife and place I suppose you could put a little cocktail stick or something to keep it in place, but I'm just going to do it by hand. So all I'm doing is I've just placed it on, and I'm going to take my craft knife, and I'm just going to cut out my breastplate, would you call it? Off. 
and then you can reuse that for another time. I have um, a box that I keep them all in. I'm just going to put that over there. I'm going to take this bit off and then hopefully take this bit of green off, tidy the edges a little bit of my finger. Taking our green, I've cut it in half basically because it was easier to manage. I'm just going to put a little bit of water on it just to keep it from and then I'm just going to place it onto our cake. And then this time I think what I'll do is I'll place the water onto the actual cake. Tidy up the side of it before I've got more of a definition line. And then I'm just going to use the palm of my hand. To get it in place. Okay, so that's our buzz on. So there we have two lines. And then, I'm just gonna get a measurement of what I need. Okay, so we are, um, I've got all my bits down here already for our uh, uh, Buzz Lightyear chest plate. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and position our plates. to take stuff off. I will show you a trick soon on how we use vodka to clear off if you've made mistakes. And a little bit of water. For this bit, I'm just going to turn it round to at an angle so that I can actually see what I'm doing a little bit better. I'm going to trim this off. Just wanted to get it into position as much as I could. I don't want to score too much because then I'm scoring into the cake, so I'm just slightly going to. 
it. And then I'm going to take my shelf across my just because I've already scored. 